Hey there, everybody. Thomas with Basecamp Trading. It is Tuesday, January 14th, and we're going to take a look really quick here at 30-year bonds and talk a little bit about what our outlook is for this market, what we're watching for, and what the current pending setup is. But before we do that, once again, make sure you hit that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already done so. That way you can stay up to date with the latest videos from Basecamp Trading. But with that being said, bonds here. So this is 30-year bonds it's showing up as US on Trade Station. If you're on TOS or any other platform, it's typically going to be forward slash ZB. This is just 30-year bonds. And the main thing we're looking at is compression occurring on a daily basis. Now, this is a 1,440-minute chart. The reason I use that is because it makes it so that it each price bar open and closes beginning and end of the total trading session for futures but it's basically a daily and the thing we're paying attention to is we are currently in compression so we had a wide range back here uh, back in the beginning of november and we've continually put in lower highs and higher lows so we have a narrowing range which gives us a pennant pattern so we draw our trend lines for support and resistance and then we look for the breakout now if we do and when if and when we do break um, one of the things you want to watch is the trend line, yes, triggers the initial break, but then you also want to pay attention to your pivot highs or and or your pivot lows. So even though the trend line, for example, if we came up and broke it tomorrow, which I doubt we would, but if we broke above 159.26, we'd still want to pay attention to the resistance just a few ticks higher at 160 and 12 30 seconds, and then again above that at 160 and 29. Okay, so pay attention to the breakout, and once it triggers the breakout of the trend lines, watch the pivot highs and lows four significant support and resistance levels that we need to get through as well. Once we ultimately get above the 60, 160 and 20, 30 seconds level, then we're looking at next target all the way up at 164. Now I've been holding bonds long in my longer term retirement portfolio since the beginning of 2019. And we've just continued to continue to hold on to this this whole time, uh, letting it run because at the moment I'm still maintaining a little bit risk off uh, I still have majority of money in, in stocks, long-term equities, but we're also still holding positions in gold and bonds for a little bit of a hedge in case market volatility picks back up and we see a, a bigger pullback. So be aware of that. But right now, short term, we're in compression, wait on the breakout. Once it breaks out, then we'll have a longer term bias uh, or at least a bias for the next couple of weeks looking for a run one way or the other. So that's currently what we're watching with bonds. Looking for the breakout there. Once again, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, everybody, happy trading.